Vanelli's dead, and Dante's disobeyed my order. Coglar, come up to my office. You too, Dante's. Do you need me, Mr. Marcel? No! Dante's, you did the right thing. I'm making you the new captain. Coglar, you will remain as the first mate. Edmund! Where's Edmund? He's gone, I'm afraid. He might be in trouble. He said he'd meet us down by the rock. Make love to me, Mercedes. No! Edmund would never have to know. I know! <laughs> Are you in trouble, Edmund? No, I'm captain. A lighthouse to me. I don't have a lighthouse, but you get the idea. Well, aren't you the lucky one? You got the girl and the job. Yeah. Ah! 
will be okay. Let's go make some sweet, sweet love, Mercedes. Oh, baby, yeah. Sure. Do you hate Dante as much as I do? Yeah, I hate him now. And I have a plan to get back at him, too. And this is how... There was a turtle by the name of Bert. And Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He ducked and covered. Ducked and covered. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Ducked and covered. Thank you for having us over for dinner, Dad. No, Dad, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Congratulations on getting your new job as captain. <coughs> Edmund Dantes, you are under arrest for treason. My son's no traitor. You're going to court! No! you've been arrested for carrying a letter from Napoleon Bonaparte. I've been told by your first mate who had betrayed you and told me about this treasonous affair. Have you delivered the letter? No, sir. It's right here in my, my pocket. Let me see it. It says, to Buddy from I think you know. Well, it says here the time and dates of the security on the island that Napoleon is, is imprisoned on. Napoleon towards innocence. No, it's you that's innocent. I know. Mm. You may go. Thank you. Okay. Just wait a minute. Who are you supposed to del deliver the letter to, by the way? Uh, Mr. Clarion. What? Mr. Clarion. Come back and have a seat again. Who would you say the letter was to? Mr. Clarion. Oh. Let me, let me have my carriage drive you home as a way of the apology, then. Thank you, sir. Right this way.
My name is Edwin. Edwin Dantes. <laughs> well, you know, I've been here in <coughs> this prison for the last 13 years, and I've been digging the last eight. <coughs> I, must have, I must have simply chose the <coughs> wrong direction. <laughs> oh, well, that's my laptop. <coughs> well, you know, if me and you work together, I bet, <coughs> I bet we can get through the next wall in five. <laughs> five what? <laughs> five years. Five years? I don't have five years. <laughs> what? Go over me. <laughs> Do you have a pressing appointment you must attend? <laughs> well, you got me there. <laughs> well, you know, in return I can teach you <laughs> all kinds of stuff like Taekwondo, martial arts, wrestling, Japanese tactics, <coughs> and, and mathematics and physics, and philosophy, too. To read and write? To read and write. To <laughs> read and write? I'm in. First lesson. Punch me. Other arm. Down low. Other leg. Twist the knit. Headbutt me. We're getting closer there, lad. Ah, avalanche! Ah. Freeze! Freeze! Get up! Are you okay? No. <laughs> There's a treasure map underneath that piece of wood. <coughs> I want you to find the treasure and live your life happily. Grace! Time for dinner! <clears throat> oh! He's dead! Okay, boys, let's toss him in the lake. I'm sorry, Freeze, but I'm gonna get in your body bag. So throw me into the lake, and I'll be free... As a bird. Free... I made it. I'm free. Thank you, priest. Thank you for the treasure map. I'm free. I'm free as a bird. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. What's that more I'm doing? Oh, it's a bunch of pirates. Sit down. Okay, thank you. You're such a fortunate find because one of our men has betrayed us, and now you'll have, you can fight him to the death, and it won't make me look weak at all by letting him live or die, and now he has the chance to live too since you're fighting him. Here's your knife, maggot. Here's your knife, mister. Let's do this. If you want to live, maggot, don't move an eyelash. By letting him live. Those who wanted him alive, get it. And those who want to see some sport, have seen it. And now you have two skilled sailors on your crew. Problem solved. It's a deal. We shall call you Satara. Sounds fearsome. It means driftwood. This is Marseille. Have you been here before? It was my home once. For the seven years I've been crewing for you, I think I should be able to leave. I, yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Have fun. Will do. Thank you. Man is always in need of a good friend. I know. I'll call you. I can read and write. I know. Okay, Jacopo. I make my next visit alone. Okay.
Jacobo? Where are you? I bought us a great bow! I got a good deal! Hurry up, Jacopo. Keep rowing. I'm going! I think we found it, lad. We made it. We found it. There's like 18 more buttloads of does down there. What are you going to do with all that money? I'm going to get my revenge. Buy a house and study Mercedes. View a Ford. And, last but not least, Mondego. I can do that easy. I can go kill him. No, we must study him. Plan out our revenge.